I see another pretty bottle. We got another little bottle. It's a little tiny bottle, but it's very cute. I like it. Yeah, and how did this come to us? This is from the fine town of Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Now, mm. you've been to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Yep, yep, went to Dollywood. And have you been to the old Smoky Moonshine Company? We did go there, and I sampled many of Moonshine. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it was fun. I liked that place. That was kind of fun. They yeah. had, like, a cool band playing, like a, like a blue, blue, not blue, bluegrass. Bluegrass band. Bluegrass. They were really good. The uh, uh, apple pie moonshine, I think, was our favorite. Yeah, that was good. That was good. And we bought the jelly home. Oh, did you? And my youngest, to uh -huh. this day, is always like, can we order some more of that? Can I get some of the jelly? I really no, like that's that. That's funny. That's funny. So, you want to read a little bit about this? Go over it. So, Old Smoky Distillery, one of the nation's fastest growing spirits companies, announced the launch of their small batch premium whiskey brand today with their first expressions honoring family ties. James Own B Reserve Tennessee Straight Bourbon Whiskey. The 94 proof whiskey is aged in American virgin charred oak barrels and filtered utilizing the Lincoln County process, passing through sugar maple, char sugar maple charcoal before aging. Less than 200 barrels of James Own B Reserve will be released this month. The whiskey commemorates the remarkable history and spirit of James Own B, the fifth generation great grandfather of Old Smoky Distillery's founder, Joe Baker, handing down a family tradition. James Ownby Reserve Tennessee Straight Bourbon Whiskey is a rich, warm, deep caramel, easy sipping spirit with a distinctly southern soul. What's the ABV? 94, so it's 47 percent. 47 percent. Let me take a little sip of this. You won't get the cork. Maybe we'll get the glug glug. Get a little crack. I don't know if we're going to get a glug glug with that. Maybe it'll be a little glug glug. It's a tiny kind of glug glug, right? Ooh, there is. Tiny glug glug. What's a little glug glug? Tiny glug glug. That's perfect. Very nice. Very nice. And I'll put this on so when I knock this over, I don't spill the whiskey you know, everywhere. We don't lose it all. All right, let's go in. All right, cheers. cheers. It smells like bourbon. It does smell like bourbon. Funny how that but goes. It's not bourbon. It's Tennessee sipping whiskey. Well, it says it's right? a bourbon though. They said it's a reserve Tennessee straight bourbon whiskey. So again, the bourbon whole thing is what new char barrel, fifty-one percent corn. And that's really about it. Right? Yeah. SBH, what, two years? Three years? Age, I think three years, and everything else has to be green. Okay. Right. So no flavors, no right. strange stuff. I'm not getting a lot of vapors, which is good. No, no, not at all. 47%, you might expect a little more. Get like a, like a, not a burnt note, but there was almost like a bit of barrel. Yeah. Like a bit of I'm barrel saying, char. It's a little oaky. Yeah. yeah. And then I get like the brown sugar and all those all those little classic notes. Not a lot of vanilla, not a lot of cinnamon, at least not on the nose. Yeah. A little tough. All right, I'm going to go for a little taste. Going in. All right. Hmm. Not super hot. I mean, it's got some heat. It's got a kick to it. Oh, it's, wait, wait. It starts to build. It's got 47%. So expect so. No, no, but it starts to build after a while. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So that is a sipper. Mm -hmm. So the flavors are all like mid palate. Yeah. And there's again yeah. a little bit of a little bit of brown sugar. Um then it heats up and you get cinnamon, like on the back end, yeah. like on the, in the in the aftertaste. You know, but it's not overpowering. It's nice. It's got a nice balance to it. You know, it's it's actually really really easy going. Getting a little like stone fruit, like a little cherry or something. Mm, that's a possibility. Yeah, is... maybe a little. I'm almost getting like a little bit of maybe like yeah. orange peel. Yeah. You know, but something else. Hmm. That's nice. That is good. That's nice. I like that. That's nice. That's a nice whiskey. It it almost reminds me of like. Um, like the Woodford Double Oak, okay. a little bit, sort of like that. Okay. You know, it's got a pretty nice rich note to it. I don't know how old this is. Did it, I don't think it said how old it was, right? But no, it's good. It's not like wispy and light. It's got a little bit of body to it. You know, it's not really oily. Like I don't, I think and, the mouth feels pretty light. And we've done a, a bunch of these where someone rolls something out for the first time and they uh -huh. do it at 40 or 43. Right, right, right. And we always say, if it was a little bit higher, right. it'd be better. I think this is perfect where it is. You know, I think no, it's it, good. I, I think if it wasn't at 47, yeah. maybe we would be saying it's a little 
soft. It's not super rich. That's, that's good. Yeah. It's 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 lighter. Like, like it's not as heavy as the double oak, but yeah. it has like those kind of tones to well, it. Well, I'm guessing that this is a rather young whiskey, and that's why they're rolling it out. Yeah. Um, but it, it's good, and I could certainly see if they age this a little more, mm -hmm. you get maybe a little more richness and right, right, right. flavors. But as it is now, it's a nice sipper. Probably give it a B. Yeah, I would I would say about maybe about 86, 87. Yeah, maybe it's a little lower than that for me. A little lower. Maybe a little. 83, 84, but it's okay. good. It's good. I like it. No, it's a nice whiskey. It's very good. So, anything else? No, I think that's it. That's all you got? Yeah, that's all I got. You're a man of few I'd words. I'd be interested to see what they're going to come out next. Right. I mean, this is the, this yeah. is phase one, yeah. right? And again, we like to... I mean, the place itself is great. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, a, fun, yeah. it's a fun place to visit it's in Gatlinburg. It's a fun little stop. Yeah, it's good. They got some neat stuff, and I like the little outside area with the shows and yeah. all that. So, and I always wondered what they were like, how much they actually make on site. Like, I don't know if they actually make this in Gatlinburg. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. James Ombi, James Ombi Reserve Tennessee Whiskey will be available in major markets and at Old Smokey's Barrel House Distillery in Gatlinburg and Sixth and Peabody in Nashville. So I guess they have something in Nashville too. The only thing I know is it has to be made in Tennessee, right? To be Tennessee whiskey. Uh, I right? guess so it would like, make sense, right? You know. Like you could be bourbon and you could be made anywhere, but you can't be Kentucky straight you bourbon unless, unless you're, you're made in Kentucky. Kentucky. So, so I'm gonna guess Tennessee whiskey's got to be made in Tennessee. All right, cool. And it's gotta follow that Lincoln County process, right? Right, 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 right. So Right. So okay, so so it's well done. Eighty five, eighty six for me, yeah, but eighty four. A little bit lower, but still solid B. Solid B. Cool. Well, thank you to old Smoky Distillery for sending this along. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.